Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon to one and all. And uh, my topic is uh, synthesis of uh, heterocyclic compounds. So first I will bring about the difference between the carbocyclic and heterocyclic. Carbocyclic means carbons are involved in a ring formation. It's called carbocyclic. So in addition to the carbon, if there is a hetero atoms, hetero atoms like uh, nitrogen, phosphorus or sulfur are involved in a ring formation, then such compounds are called heterocyclic compounds. So these particular heterocyclic compounds find uh, application in uh, pharma industry, uh, agrochemical industry, okay, fertilizer industry, dye industry. That means these require in use quantity. So for example, 59% uh, of the US FDA approved drugs are belongs to the nitrogen containing heterocyclic compounds. So because of this use importance, one should think about the synthesis. Synthesis, why we need to do a synthesis? Synthesis, again, uh, to come down the steps, okay? Multi steps into a few steps. That is also a good advantage. Similarly, if we are able to make out a simple, economically viable, a convenient method for, for making heterocyclic compounds, that itself is a good thing. So that is the reason one should go for a synthesis. So then here in this uh, video, I am discussing the synthesis of a few heterocycles. And uh, next slide will give you the information about the content of this particular video lecture. So this is about the hazoles. Hazoles means a five-membered ring with two hetero atoms. The two hetero atoms may be a nitrogen or oxygen or sulfur. And uh, details about the hazole I will show you in the next slide. And the second one, diazine. Diazine is a six-membered ring with uh, two nitrogens. Six-membered ring with two nitrogens. Okay. Examples also I will show you over a uh, next uh, slide. Chromone and cumarin. Okay, this is a, again chromon and cumarin is a six membered ring oxygen containing analogs. Okay, examples also I will show you in a next uh, slides. So, with this, so uh, content of this particular video lecture is azoles, diazoles, chromons, and chromo and comarins. Okay, with this, I will move on to the next slide. Next slide will give you the information about the azoles okay so azoles what are the azoles you can find you can find nearly a six azoles so the first one is pyrazole you can observe that here a five membered ring with the two nitrogens are at the adjacent position and the second is imidazole imidazole is the in this that the two nitrogens are at the first position and the third position so just by change what is the difference between the pyrazole and imidazole only in the place of nitrogen position of nitrogen that itself is makes the uh, difference in physical and chemical properties of these two similarly oxazole and isoxazole in the oxazole oxygen is at the first position nitrogen is at the third position and the isoxazole oxygen is at first and the nitrogen is at the second position. This is the difference between the oxazole and isoxazole. Similarly, thiazole and isothiazole. In the thiazole, uh, nitrogen is at the third position. In the isothiazole, nitrogen is at the second position. I am going to discuss about the synthesis part of all these azoles over the next uh, few slides. In the next slide, I will discuss about the few examples of diazines. So these are the diazines. You can observe that this is the one, a six-membered ring with the two nitrogens. These two nitrogens are at the adjacent position. Okay, and this particular one is called pyridazine. And suppose the nitrogens are at the first position and the third position, then it is called the pyrimidine. Suppose the nitrogen is at the first and the fourth position, then it's called pyrazine. So benzo derivative of pyridi, uh, pyridazine is called sinoline. Benzo derivative of uh, pyrazine is called quinaxaline. Of course, uh, the benzo derivative of pyrimidine is called quinazoline. 
punazoline moieties or uh, fine supplication in anti hypertensive drugs so that i am not discussing here and uh, so with this in this uh, diazine category i am going to discuss about the synthesis of pyrimidine synthesis of sinolin and then synthesis of phenoxylate okay so with this i will move on to the next slide so next slide will give you the information about the chromones and coumarin so you can observe that this is the one suppose you just assume that there is no benzene here then this particular moiety is called pyran four wood this is the four wood fourth position this is the first position since there is a benzene it's called a chromone benzo pyrano pyran four wood is nothing but a chromone similarly this one if there is no benzene this is called pyran two wood okay pyran two wood when it is fused with benzene it's called coumarin these two a compound finds the application in anti oxidants so normally uh, naturally occurring uh, compounds contain anti oxidants okay these two are finds application in anti oxidants for example flavones and isoflavones all these things you can come across okay this is about the chromone and coumarin so with this what i will do i will go to the next slide next slide will give you the information about the synthesis of azoles also i am taking one example the synthesis of azole more particularly pyrazole okay so pyrazole what is pyrazole pyrazole is the this one pyrazole okay so it's a five membered ring it contains one two nitrogens at the adjacent position that means one and two position how we can prepare so we can prepare this particular uh, pyrazole by passing acetylene gas into a solution cold solution of diazomethane so what is happening there will be a 13 dipolar addition how 13 dipolar addition this anion can attack this carbon this uh, anion part will attack to this nitrogen so so 13 dipolar addition takes place forming a pyrazole here what is the thing uh, we need to remember this is a gas that we need to remember and this is a um, liquid but it is stable at low temperature but it is unstable at higher temperature that is the reason a good method convenient method is required the convenient method of, for making pyrazole is starting with 13 dicarbonyl compounds this kind 1 2 3 this kind of carbonyl compounds are called 13 dicarbonyl compound one such example is pentane 2 comma 4 diol and these type of compounds also exists as a keto enol for tautomerism how keto enol tautomerism occurs this bond pair can come over here this bond pair can pick up this proton forming a enol form keto form or enol form can react with hydrazine giving rise to this 3 comma 5 di substituted pyrazole this is about the synthesis of pyrazole in the next slide i will give you the information about the synthesis of imidazole then what is imidazole so the imidazole is this one so imidazole means five membered ring with the uh, uh, nitrogens are at the one and the third position so how one can prepare this particular one so this particular imidazole can be synthesized uh, in the first method um, the reactant is a 1 2 dicarbonyl compound 1 2 dicarbonyl compound when it is treated with ammonia in presence of aldehyde gives rise to substituted imidazole okay this is one method so in the second method in place of 1 2 dicarbonyl compound one can take this particular reactant what is the name how we can name it you know that this is a carbonyl group and adjacent to this carbonyl group is called alpha carbon and uh, he in this moiety this is taken as a parent functional group and this will be a substituent and uh, since it is alpha position we can say that alpha amino ketone alpha amino ketone when it is treated with cyanamide gives rise to imidazole you can also observe that this moiety nitrogen carbon and amino nitrogen carbon and amino is here remaining part is this so this is how the formed and the obtained one is imidazole okay this imidazole also we can prepare starting with this uh, reactant 
So the difference between this and this, here amino is there, here is the bromine is there, okay? So we can say that alpha bromoketone. Alpha bromoketone when it is treated with amidine. Amidine functional group means this kind of functional group is called amidine functional group. Undergoes cyclization, substitution reaction forming a imidazole moiety. So that means imidazole can be obtained starting with the one, two dicarbonyl compound, starting with one, two dicarbonyl compound, starting with alpha amino ketone, and also starting with the alpha bromo ketone, we can get imidazole. These are the three methods for the preparation or synthesis of imidazole. So with this, I will move on to the next slide, which will give you the information about the synthesis of oxazole. So then what is oxazole? Oxazole is a five-membered ring containing oxygen and the nitrogen at the one and three position. Then this, ox this oxazole, how we can prepare? We can prepare starting with the, uh, this uh, reactant. Then what is the name of this reactant? You know that this is the carbonyl group and this is the functional group. Adjacent to this functional group, this is called alpha position. So here X indicates that halogen. So this will be a substituent. This will be a parent compound, alpha alloketones. Alpha alloketones, when it is treated with amide, how it will uh, reacting? Maybe a lone pair present on the nitrogen or this bond pair can come over here and this can fix up, uh, attack this carbon and this will go out. There will be a bond formation between this oxygen and this carbon and also there will be a bond formation between the this nitrogen and this carbon and forming this particular 2,4 disubstituted oxazole. This uh, 2,4 disubstituted oxazole we can also synthesize starting with this particular reactant. So then what is the name of this reactant? You can say that this is a oxime group. This is a oxime group and this is a ketone group. Uh, then, and uh, we can take it this as a parent compound, this will be a substituent. So when this is a substituent, we can name it as a, this carbon is alpha. So we can say that alpha ox amino, alpha ox amino ketone, alpha ox amino ketones, when it is subjected to reductive oscillation. Reductive oscillation means conversion of an oxime group into amine group. That amine can react with a style uh, acetic anhydride forming this particular one. So this is called acyl amino ketone. How it is acyl amino ketone? So this is acyl amino ketone. This acyl amino ketone undergoes uh, Cyclization, how it will go? The lone pair may be present here, can come over here. This can attack this carbon. This can um, react with this sulfur and there will be a removal of one proton. Bonded pair can come over here, forming this particular cyclized product. This is about the synthesis of oxazole. So uh, in the next slide, I will show you the information about the synthesis of Isoxazole. Then what is the structure of isoxazole? Isoxazole is the one which contain a five-membered ring with oxygen and nitrogen at adjacent position. So how we can prepare or synthesize this particular one? We can prepare or synthesize this starting with 1,3-dicarbonyl compound. This 1,3-dicarbonyl compound can react with uh, hydroxyl hamine hydrochloride. Okay, so what is this? The, this can form a bond with this carbon, okay? And uh, this also form a bond with this, and there will be a removal of proton here. <laughs> it forms in a double bond here, and uh, obtained one is 3,5 disubstituted isoxazole. So this uh, isoxazole, we can also prepare or synthesize starting with propargyl aldehyde. This propargyl aldehyde can react with the hydroxyl amine hydrochloride forming isoxazole. So this is about the synthesis of isoxazole. So uh, synthesis, uh, the, in a next slide, I will show you the synthesis of thiazole. So what is thiazole? Thiazole is a five-membered ring uh, which contains sulfur and nitrogen at one and 
third position. This is the thiazole. So this, the, how we can prepare? So this we can prepare starting with this particular compound. Then what is the name of this uh, sorting material? You can say that this functional group is aldehyde functional group. This functional group is chlorofunctional group. So the aldehyde functional group takes the first priority and this carbon is called uh, alpha carbon, alpha chloroacetaldehyde, okay? Otherwise we can say that chloroacetaldehyde. Chloroacetaldehyde react with thiopharmamide gives rise to thiazole. It's a condensation reaction, removal of small molecules like water and HCl is go on route. So how this bond pair, uh, this bond pair can attack this carbon, Cl is going out. And then similarly, this bond pair or lone pair can attack this forms a double bond here, forming this particular thiazole. This thiazole we can also synthesize or prepare sorting with this particular reactant. Also, uh, you know that, so this carbon is called alpha carbon, alpha acyl group alpha acyl amido ketones when it is treated with phosphorus pentoxide this particular oxygen is replaced with sulfur why this particular oxygen only replacing means this is an amidic functional group this amidic can involve in a amido enol tautomerism that is the reason this oxygen is not possible to uh, uh, transfer and this oxygen it is possible uh, replace with the sulfur and giving rise to this mighty and this on cyclization giving rise to this and you can also say that nucleophilic nature of sulfur is more compared to the oxygen that is the reason this bond pair can attack over here and this will go out and this bond pair can come over here forming a double bond here this also double bond formation forming a 2 comma 5 disubstituted thiazole this is about the synthesis of thiazole. In the next slide, I will show you about the synthesis of isothiazole. This is the, what then, what is isothiazole? Isothiazole is this. So isothiazole means sulfur and nitrogen are at the adjacent position, one and two position. Okay, then how we can prepare this particular isothiazole? By starting with these three reactant, propene. Propene is a gas. Ammonia, ammonia is a gas, sulfur is a gas. When these three gases are passed on a heated alumina, we will get isothiazole. This is one method of preparation of isothiazole. Isothiazole, we can also synthesize starting with the propargyl aldehyde. This is the propargyl aldehyde. This propargyl aldehyde, when it is treated with this moiety, we will get up with this one. And this is when it is treated with liquor ammonia, so what is happening? This will form a bond with this particular uh, aldehyde, and then it uh, it will react with this sulfur. Right? There will be a bond formation with nitrogen and this sulfur, and giving rise to isothiazole. So this is about the synthesis of azoles. So in a next slide, I will show you the uh, synthesis of diazines. The example is pyrimidine. So this is the, then what is pyrimidine? Pyrimidine is a six-membered ring, six-membered ring containing two nitrogen. Pyrimidine is a six-membered ring containing two nitrogen. So two nitrogen. So this can be starting. Okay, this is the one, uh, pyrimidine. So how we can how we can synthesize? So you can see that uh, the reactant here, this group, OET group is ethoxy. So two ethoxy group here, two ethoxy group here, one, two, three propane group is there. So we can say that tetra ethoxy propane is the reactant. Tetra ethoxy propane and uh, formamide. When we are passing these two into a heated alumina, we will end up with pyrimidine. So pyrimidine is also possible to synthesize in another, another method that is starting with this particular compound. You, here you can observe that aldehyde functional group and the carboxylic acid functional group also present. So in such cases, aldehyde will be a substituent. That is the reason formyl acetic acid, name of this compound is formyl acetic acid. This formyl acetic acid, when it is treated with urea, 
so it will form a uracil and you know that this is a amide functional group this amide can exit in a enol form so that time there will be a double bond here oh is this is converted double bond here oh will be converted in the enol form so that enol form will react with phosphorus oxy chloride it's a chlorinating agent it will convert oh into a chlorine this is what one and this chlorine is replaced with hydrogen by uh, with this reagent this is called this is also called catalytic reduction and the uh, obtained one is pyrimidine so this is how one can prepare a pyrimidine starting uh, with uh, formyl acetic acid okay so in in the next slide i will give you the information about the synthesis of uh, sinolin so substituted four methyl sinolin so here what is the reactant suppose if there is no, if, if there is no ethyl group then if it is a h then we can say that anthranilic acid since there is a ethyl group we, this should be a ethyl anthranilate this is an ester of anthranilic acid ethyl anthranilate so this ester react with the grignard reagent ester is giving rise to tertiary alcohol this tertiary alcohol is unstable undergoes dehydration removal of water forming an alkene this alkene undergoes diazotization diazotization means conversion of nh2 into n2cl the obtained n2cl react with this carbon and this uh, forming a, a cyclic product called 4 methyl sinolin so this is about the synthesis of 4 uh, methyl sinolin and i will with this i will move on to the next slide the next slide will give you the information about the synthesis of quinaxalin this is the one and uh, what is the structure of quinaxalin this is the one you can say that we, without uh, this benzene ring is called uh, pyrazine with benzene it's called quinaxalin so that means pyrazine benzopyrazine derivative is called quinaxalin how we can prepare or synthesize this particular one starting with um, uh, diamino benzene diamino benzene is also called as orthophenylene diamine orthophenylene diamine when it is treated with glyoxal it will give you the quinaxalin so this is how one can prepare or synthesize quinaxalin so with this i will move on to the next slide which will give you the information about the synthesis of chromon so what then what is the structure of chromon this is the structure of chromon okay so chromon means uh, benzopyranone is called chromon how we can synthesize this this starting with this particular compound what is the name of this compound you can say that this moiety is called ome ome means methoxy and this moiety is called astophenone so this position is called ortho position ortho methoxy astophenone when it is treated with a base this is a strong base this can obstruct a proton here forming an anion this anion can attack this carbon forms a formyl group so uh, this reactant is act as a source of formyl group so this act as a base forms an anion this will attack this oet will go out ethanol will go out forming an formyl compound like this and this is an ether this ether can be cleaved by using a reagent called hydroiodic acid and the obtained one is this and this Uh, undergo cyclization how it will go this h and this h and o and there is a formation of double bond here giving rise to chromon this is how the chromon is obtained uh, starting with ortho methoxy astophenone so with this i will move on to the next slide so the next slide will give you the information about the synthesis of cumarin then what is cumarin cumarin is the this one so here what you can observe that uh a ketonic group and then oxygen is six membered ring benzo derivative of pyran 2 o is called cumarin and here hydroxy group is there and this is the methyl group also is present without hydroxy and methyl it's called cumarin so with hydroxy methyl it's called 5 hydroxy 4 methyl cumarin how we can prepare this particular one starting with 
resor signal this is the one is called resor signal and this is the one is called uh, active methylene uh, compound active methylene compound is also called as ethyl acetoacetate so ethyl acetoacetate uh, normally this uh, acidic protons will be there this acidic proton uh, easily can be removed and uh, that bonded pair can come over here this can takes up a proton form say enol form enol form or keto form can react with this particular bond means there will be a bond formation between this carbon and this carbon giving rise to this type of moiety and this moiety undergoes cyclization now it will go lone pair or bond pair will attack this and oet will go out ethanol will go out forming this particular um, uh, kumarin so with this i will move on to the next slide the next slide is about the conclusion so up to this we discussed about the synthesis of azoles azoles under that we discussed pyrazole uh, imrazole oxazole isoxazole thiazole and isothiazole and also we discussed about the synthesis of diazines more particularly pyrimidine sinoline and then quinaxaline and also we discussed about the synthesis of chromon and cumarin okay this is about the uh, this video lecture so with this i would like to say thank you